Hey guys, Dr. Cycling FPV, and I'm just going to do a real quick demonstration here on how to properly remove a bell from your motor. <clears throat> I have a customer, I need him to look at the bell because the motor is not, it's actually on this identical quad. Uh, and I sent it back to him and he says that the bell isn't turning. Now there's a chance, and it's very rare, but it does happen where something on my bench here, it could have been a small washer or screw, while we're packing it or putting it away, get something stuck in the, uh, you know, something gets stuck in the magnet there. So I've asked him to remove the bell and he's just wanting to make sure he does it properly. So let me show you how we're going to do this. Uh, I'll pick this motor right here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to unscrew uh, the bell. Okay, unscrew the, the bottom uh, piece, the bottom screw there that holds the bell in place. And you can just clear it out now. I would keep this mounted. If you don't have it mounted, you're going to need to put some screws on there so you can pull. You can't just remove the bell. They're not supposed to come off very easily. Uh, these magnets are pretty darn strong. So uh, if you, if you, uh, once you remove the screw, I'm looking for a, um, a prop nut now because I usually prefer to use a prop nut to pull up on the motor. Let me see. I have one here. Thank you. So you'll, uh, oh, great. This is a new one. Let's see that one. It's open. I hate to open a new one because that's out of a new quad, so hold on one second. Let me just find something. Got a million of them. <clears throat> grab this one here. <clears throat> and I'll come back and I'll show you how we're doing this. All right. So depending on how, how, how hard it is to remove, uh, let me see which motor was it. It's this one here. All right. So I'm going to put the prop nut on, and there's two ways to do this. I'm either going to pull right and if I can't get it to budge then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of pliers and I'll pull with the pliers right I just want to make sure I have the right pliers for this because it gets pretty tough I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you it sometimes can get pretty hard and you're basically gonna pull on the pull on the prop nut and pull back on the motor and there you go it's it doesn't it's not the easiest thing to do at times but once you do that, you can inspect, I think my whole bench went over here because my hand hit the desk. Anyways, once you do that, you can look and inspect the motor. Usually if there's something stuck in here, uh, it could be very tiny. I mean like extremely tiny, but because there's very little room between the motor, <clears throat> between the gaps of the, of the magnets here and the posts and the coils, so you, any little piece, and you just want to look and inspect the whole area here to make sure that there's nothing blocking. Uh, and then be careful because once you do clean it out, now, if you do see something in here, right, and it's small, let's just say it's like a really, really, really tiny uh, piece of nothing. I mean, something that you wouldn't normally be able to grab or pull out. Uh, one of the best things to use is silly putty. So if you get some silly putty, I think I knocked my camera sideways even. Well, that, was, that, sucker, was, that sucker was tough to remove. Anyways, uh, you push some silly putty on there and it pulls everything out. So if you cannot get to the piece, and I'm trying to give an example, but usually what I'll do is I'll be able to take a, a pair of tweezers and just kind of get in, because it'll go in between the cracks if there is something small in there. It'll get in between the magnets usually, and then you can get silly putty and put in there and pull that out, or just work with your magnet, or work with your tweezers, I mean, to get it out. And then once you get it to the top, you may use your finger or something to get that off of there. But once you're done with that, you're just gonna basically, and be careful because this thing is gonna snap back on. Once you're done with that, just put your bell back in, uh, place it in the center like that, and, well, and then it's going to pull itself in just like that. And then once you do that, you put your um, you put your screw back in. And remember, guys, putting the screw back in, you're not trying to crank down on this thing. You're basically going to finger tighten this, okay? Um, and just keep going. You'll know when to stop, but it's sitting and just like that. That's it, and the motor's back to normal. These have been a huge improvement over motors in the past because motors in the past used to have O-rings and then they had the screws, but the screws would actually, uh, they needed spacers then because the screws would touch the, um, uh, the bearing and then if you tighten it too much, now the motor would spin. They've, they've done a real good job of increasing the length of the stator just enough so that it does pass and allow it to still not move, but not tighten down to the bearing. So you're good on this one and it spins just like the rest of them would and that's it. So hope that helps guys. That's the Whoops, whoop, whoop, whoop. that is the quick way. Sorry, just a quick video for my customer, but I figured I'll send it to the rest of you guys. That is a quick way. Now, if your motor is loose and it's not tight into a frame, and I just think I threw a motor out here recently. Let me see if I can find it. If not, I'll just explain it. Basically what you do, <laughs> I don't have a motor sitting here. Uh, basically what you do is you just take 
Uh, the bottom of the motor, put two screws in there as if you were mounting it, but you could hold it with your hand. But just make sure to put two on opposite ends so that when you pull, you're pulling evenly on both sides. Pull the uh, prop nut on one side, pull the uh, two screws on the other side, and then it'll separate. It may seem like it's not going to because those magnets are pretty strong, but I promise you it will. All right, guys, take care. Thanks, and as always, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate your help. God bless. Be safe, and go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Guys, go make the most of it. Talk to you soon. Peace.